Georgia is a state in the southeastern United States. It began as a British colony in 1733, the last of the original 13 colonies. Named after King George II of Great Britain, the province of Georgia covered the area from South Carolina down to Spanish Florida and New France along Louisiana, New France, also bordering to the west towards the Mississippi River. Georgia was the fourth state to ratify the United States Constitution, on January 2, 1788. In 1802-1804, western Georgia was split to the Mississippi Territory, which later split to form Alabama with part of former West Florida in 1819. Georgia declared its secession from the Union on January 19, 1861, and was one of the original seven Confederate states. It was the last state to be restored to the Union, on July 15, 1870. Georgia is the 24th largest and the 8th most populous of the 50 United States. From 2007 to 2008, 14 of Georgia's counties ranked among the nation's 100 fastest growing, second only to Texas. Georgia is known as the Peach State and the Empire State of the South. Atlanta is the state's capital, its most populous city, and has been named a global city. Georgia is bordered to the south by Florida, to the east by the Atlantic Ocean and South Carolina, to the west by Alabama, and to the north by Tennessee and North Carolina. The state's northernmost part is in the Blue Ridge Mountains, part of the Appalachian Mountains system. The Piedmont extends through the central part of the state from the foothills of the Blue Ridge to the Fall Line, where the rivers cascade down in elevation to the coastal plain of the state's southern part. Georgia's highest point is Brass Town Bald at 4,784 feet, 1,458 m, above sea level, the lowest is the Atlantic Ocean. Of the states entirely east of the Mississippi River, Georgia is the largest in land area. History Before settlement by Europeans, Georgia was inhabited by the mound-building cultures. The British colony of Georgia was founded by James Oglethorpe on February 12, 1733. The colony was administered by the trustees for the establishment of the colony of Georgia in America under a charter issued by, and named for, King George II. The trustees implemented an elaborate plan for the colony's settlement, known as the Oglethorpe Plan, which envisioned an agrarian society of yeoman farmers and prohibited slavery. The colony was invaded by the Spanish in 1742, during the War of Jenkins' Ear. In 1752, after the government failed to renew subsidies that had helped support the colony, the trustees turned over control to the Crown. Georgia became a Crown colony, with a governor appointed by the King. The province of Georgia was one of the 13 colonies that revolted against British rule in the American Revolution by signing the 1776 Declaration of Independence. The state of Georgia's first constitution was ratified in February 1777. Georgia was the tenth state to ratify the Articles of Confederation on July 24, 1778, and was the fourth state to ratify the current constitution on January 2, 1788. In 1829, gold was discovered in the North Georgia Mountains, which led to the Georgia Gold Rush and an established federal mint in Dalanaga, which continued its operation until 1861. The subsequent influx of white settlers put pressure on the government to take land from the Cherokee Nation. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act into law, sending many eastern Native American nations to reservations in present-day Oklahoma, including all of Georgia's tribes. Despite the Supreme Court's ruling in Worcester v. Georgia, 1832, that ruled U.S. states were not permitted to redraw the Indian boundaries, President Jackson and the state of Georgia ignored the ruling. In 1838, his successor, Martin Van Buren, 
dispatched federal troops to gather the Cherokee and deport them west of the Mississippi. This forced relocation, known as the Trail of Tears, led to the death of over 4,000 Cherokees. In early 1861, Georgia joined the Confederacy and became a major theater of the Civil War. Major battles took place at Chickamauga, Kennesaw Mountain, and Atlanta. In December 1864, a large swath of the state from Atlanta to Savannah was destroyed during General William Tecumseh Sherman's march to the sea. 18,253 Georgian soldiers died in service, roughly one of every five who served. In 1870, following the Reconstruction era, Georgia became the last Confederate state to be restored to the Union. With white Democrats having regained power in the state legislature, they passed a poll tax in 1877, which disenfranchised many poor blacks and whites, preventing them from registering. In 1908, the state established a white primary, with the only competitive contests within the Democratic Party, it was another way to exclude blacks from politics. They constituted 46.7% of the state's population in 1900, but the proportion of Georgia's population that was African American dropped thereafter to 28% primarily due to leaving the state during the Great Migration. This disfranchisement persisted through the mid-1960s, until federal legislation with the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Geography Boundaries Beginning from the Atlantic Ocean, the state's eastern border with South Carolina runs up the Savannah River, northwest to its origin at the confluence of the Tougaloo and Seneca Rivers. It then continues up the Tougaloo, originally Tugalo, and into the Chattooga River, its most significant tributary. These bounds were decided in the 1797 Treaty of Beaufort, and tested in the U.S. Supreme Court in the two Georgia v. South Carolina cases in 1923 and 1989. The border then takes a sharp turn around the tip of Rabin County, at latitude 35 degrees north, though from this point it diverges slightly south, due to inaccuracies in the original survey. This northern border was originally the Georgia and North Carolina border all the way to the Mississippi River, until Tennessee was divided from North Carolina, and the Yazoo companies induced the legislature of Georgia to pass an act, approved by the governor in 1795, to sell the greater part of Georgia's territory presently comprising Alabama and Mississippi. The state's western border runs in a straight line south-southeastward from a point southwest of Chattanooga, to meet the Chattahoochee River near West Point. It continues downriver to the point where it joins the Flint River, the confluence of the two forming Florida's Apalachicola River, the southern border goes almost due east and very slightly south, in a straight line to the St. Mary's River, which then forms the remainder of the boundary back to the ocean. The water boundaries are still set to be the original Talveg of the rivers. Since then, several have been inundated by lakes created by dams, including the Apalachicola slash Chattahoochee slash Flint Point now under Lake Seminole. Georgia state legislators have claimed that in an 1818 survey, the state's border with Tennessee was erroneously placed one mile, 1.6 kilometers, farther south than intended, and they proposed a correction in 2010. The state was then in the midst of a significant drought, and the new border would allow Georgia access to water from the Tennessee River. Geology and Terrain Each region has its own distinctive characteristics. For instance, the ridge and valley, which lies in the northwest corner of the state, includes limestone, sandstone, shale, and other sedimentary rocks, which have yielded construction-grade limestone, barite, ochre, and small amounts of coal. Ecology Flora The state of Georgia has approximately 250 tree species and 58 protected plants. Georgia's native trees include red cedar, a variety of pines, oaks, hollies, cypress, sweetgum, 
scaly bark and white hickories and sabal palmetto. East Georgia is in the subtropical coniferous forest biome and conifer species as other broadleaf evergreen flora make up the majority of the southern and coastal regions. Yellow jasmine, and mountain laurel make up just a few of the flowering shrubs in the state. Fauna White-tailed, Virginia, deer are in nearly all counties. The northern mockingbird and brown thrasher are among the 160 bird species that live in the state. Reptiles and amphibians include the eastern diamondback, copperhead and cottonmouth, salamanders, frogs, alligators and toads. There are about 79 species of reptile and 63 amphibians known to live in Georgia. The most popular freshwater game fish are trout, bream, bass and catfish all but the last of which are produced in state hatcheries for restocking. Popular saltwater game fish include red drum, spotted sea trout, flounder, and tarpon. Porpoises, whales, shrimp, oysters, and blue crabs are found inshore and offshore of the Georgia coast. Climate The majority of the state is primarily a humid subtropical climate. Hot and humid summers are typical except at the highest elevations. The entire state, including the North Georgia mountains, receives moderate to heavy precipitation, which varies from 45 inches 1,143 mm, in central Georgia to approximately 75 inches 1,905 mm, around the northeast part of the state. The degree to which the weather of a certain region of Georgia is subtropical depends on the latitude, its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean or Gulf of Mexico, and the elevation. The latter factor is felt chiefly in the mountainous areas of the northern part of the state, which are farther away from the ocean and can be 4,500 feet 1, m, above sea level. The USDA plant hardiness zones for Georgia range from Zone 6B, no colder than 5 degree F, 21 degree C, in the Blue Ridge Mountains to Zone 8B, no colder than 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degree C, along the Atlantic coast and Florida border. The highest temperature ever recorded is 112 degrees Fahrenheit, 44.4 degrees Celsius, in Louisville on July 24. 1952, while the lowest is 17 degree F, 27.2 degree C, in northern Floyd County on January 27, 1940. Georgia is one of the leading states in frequency of tornadoes, though they are rarely stronger than F1. Although tornadoes striking the city are very rare, a F2 nonviolent tornado hit downtown Atlanta on March 14, 2008 causing moderate to severe damage to various buildings. With a coastline on the Atlantic Ocean, Georgia is also vulnerable to hurricanes, although direct hurricane strikes were rare during the 20th century. Georgia often is affected by hurricanes that strike the Florida Panhandle, weaken overland, and bring strong tropical storm winds and heavy rain to the interior, as well as hurricanes that come close to the Georgia coastline brushing the coast on their way north. Demographics The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of Georgia was 10,214,860 on July 1, 2015, a 5.44% increase since the 2010 United States Census. In 2015, Georgia had an estimated population of 10,214,860 which was an increase of 117,517 from the previous year, and an increase of 527,207 since 2010. This includes a natural increase since the last census of 438,939 people that is 849,414 births minus 410,475 deaths, and an increase from net migration of 606,673 people into the state.
immigration resulted in a net increase of 228,415 people, and migration within the country produced a net increase of 378,258 people. As of 2010, the number of illegal immigrants living in Georgia has skyrocketed, more than doubling to 480,000 from January 2000 to January 2009, according to a new federal report. That gave Georgia the greatest percentage increase among the 10 states with the biggest illegal immigrant populations during those years. There were 743,000 veterans in 2009. Population According to the 2010 United States Census, Georgia had a population of 9,687,653. In terms of race and ethnicity, the state was 59.7% white, 55.9% non-Hispanic white alone, 30.5% black or African American, 0.3% American Indian and Alaska Native. 3.2% Asian, 0.1% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 4.0% from some other race, and 2.1% from two or more races. Hispanics and Latinos of any race made up 8.8% .8 of the population. As of 2011, 58.8% of Georgia's population younger than age 1 were minorities meaning that they had at least one parent who was not non-Hispanic white, compared to other states like California with 75.1%, New York with 55.6%, and Texas with 69.8%. The largest European ancestry groups are English 8.1% Irish 8.1% German 7.2% in the 1980 census 1,584,303 Georgians claimed English ancestry out of a total state population of 3,994,817, making them 40% of the state, and the largest ethnic group at the time. Today, many of these same people claiming that they are of American ancestry are actually of English descent, and some are of Scots-Irish descent, however. Their families have lived in the state for so long, in many cases since the colonial period, that they choose to identify simply as having American ancestry or do not in fact know their own ancestry. Their ancestry primarily goes back to the original 13 colonies and for this reason many of them today simply claim American ancestry, though they are of predominantly English ancestry. As of 2004, 7.7% of Georgia's population was reported as under 5 years of age, 26.4% under 18, and 9.6% were 65 or older. Also as of 2004, females made up approximately 50.6% of the population and African Americans made up approximately 29.6%. Historically, about half of Georgia's population was composed of African Americans who, before the Civil War, were almost exclusively enslaved. The great migration of hundreds of thousands of blacks from the rural south to the industrial north from 1914-70 reduced the African American population. Georgia had the second fastest growing Asian population growth in the U.S. from 1990 to 2000 more than doubling in size during the 10-year period. In addition, according to census estimates, Georgia ranks third among the states in terms of the percent of the total population that is African American, after Mississippi and Louisiana, and third in numerical black population after New York and Florida. Georgia was the state with the largest numerical increase in the black population from 2006 to 2007 with 84,000. Georgia is the state with the third lowest percentage of older people, 65 or older, at 12.8%, as of 2015. The colonial settlement of large numbers of Scottish American, English American and Scotch Irish Americans in the mountains and Piedmont, and coastal settlement by some English Americans and African Americans, 
have strongly influenced the state's culture in food, language, and music. The concentration of Africans imported to coastal areas in the 18th century repeatedly from rice-growing regions of West Africa led to the development of Gullah language and culture in the Low Country among African Americans. They share a unique heritage in which African traditions of food, religion, and culture were continued more than in some other areas. In the creolization of Southern culture, their foodways became an integral part of all Southern cooking in the Low Country. Languages As of 2010, 87.35%, 7,666,663, of Georgia residents age 5 and older spoke English at home as a primary language, while 7.42%, 651,583, spoke Spanish, 0.51%, 44,702, Korean, 0.44%, 38,244, Vietnamese, 0.42%, 36,679, French, 0.38%, 33,009, Chinese, which includes Mandarin, and German which was spoken as a main language by 0.29%, 23,351, of the population over the age of 5. In total, 12.65%, 1,109,888, of Georgia's population age 5 and older spoke a mother language other than English. Major Cities the U.S. Census Bureau lists 14 metropolitan areas in Georgia. The largest, Atlanta, is the ninth most populous metro area in the United States. Religion The composition of religious affiliation in Georgia is 70% Protestant, 9% Catholic, 1% Mormon, 1% Jewish, 0.5% Muslim, 0.5% Buddhist and 0.5% Hindu. Atheists, deists, agnostics, and other unaffiliated people make up 13% of the population. The largest Christian denominations by number of adherents in 2010 were the Southern Baptist Convention with 1,759,317, the United Methodist Church with 619,394, and the Roman Catholic Church with 596,384. Non-denominational Evangelical Protestant had 566,782 members, the Church of God, Cleveland, Tennessee, has 175,184 members, and the National Baptist Convention, USA. Inc. has 172,982 members. The Presbyterian Church, USA, is the largest Presbyterian body in the state, with 300 congregations and 100,000 members. The other large body, Presbyterian Church in America, had at its founding date 14 congregations and 2,800 members. In 2010 it counted 139 congregations and 32,000 members. The Roman Catholic Church is noteworthy in Georgia's urban areas, and includes the Archdiocese of Atlanta and the Diocese of Savannah. Georgia is home to the largest Hindu temple in the United States, the BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir Atlanta, located in the suburb city of Lilburn. Georgia is home to several historical synagogues including the Temple, Atlanta, Congregation Beth Jacob, Atlanta, and Congregation Mike Vizrael, Savannah. Chabad and the Rohr Jewish Learning Institute are also active in the state. Government State Government As with all other U.S. states and the federal government, Georgia's government is based on the separation of legislative, executive, and judicial power. Executive authority in the state rests with the governor, currently Nathan Deal, Republican. Both the governor of Georgia and lieutenant governor are elected on separate ballots to four-year terms of office. Unlike the federal government, 
but like many other U.S. states, most of the executive officials who comprise the governor's cabinet are elected by the citizens of Georgia rather than appointed by the governor. Legislative authority resides in the General Assembly, composed of the Senate and House of Representatives. The lieutenant governor presides over the Senate, while members of the House of Representatives select their own speaker. The Georgia Constitution mandates a maximum of 56 senators, elected from single-member districts, and a minimum of 180 representatives, apportioned among representative districts, which sometimes results in more than one representative per district. There are currently 56 senators and 180 representatives. The term of office for senators and representatives is two years. The laws enacted by the General Assembly are codified in the official code of Georgia annotated. State judicial authority rests with the State Supreme Court and Court of Appeals, which have statewide authority. In addition, there are smaller courts which have more limited geographical jurisdiction, including superior courts, state courts, juvenile courts, magistrate courts, and probate courts. Justices of the Supreme Court and judges of the Court of Appeals are elected statewide by the citizens in nonpartisan elections to six-year terms. Judges for the smaller courts are elected to four-year terms by the state's citizens who live within that court's jurisdiction. Local Government Georgia consists of 159 counties, second only to Texas, with 254. Georgia had 161 counties until the end of 1931, when Milton and Campbell were merged into the existing Fulton. Some counties have been named for prominent figures in both American and Georgian history, and many bear names with Native American origin. Counties in Georgia have their own elected legislative branch, usually called the Board of Commissioners, which usually also has executive authority in the county. Several counties have a sole commissioner form of government, with legislative and executive authority vested in a single person. Georgia is the only state with sole commissioner counties. Georgia's constitution provides all counties and cities with home rule authority. The county commissions have considerable power to pass legislation within their county, as a municipality would. Georgia recognizes all local units of government as cities, so every incorporated town is legally a city. Georgia does not provide for townships or independent cities, though there have been bills proposed in the legislature to provide for townships, it does allow consolidated city-county governments by local referendum. All of Georgia's second-tier cities except Savannah have now formed consolidated city-county governments by referendum, Columbus, in 1970, Athens, 1990, Augusta, 1995, and Macon, 2012. Augusta and Athens have excluded one or more small, incorporated towns within their consolidated boundaries, while Macon has excluded a small unincorporated area. Columbus eventually absorbed all smaller incorporated entities within its consolidated boundaries. The small town of Cusetta adopted a consolidated city-county government in 2003. There is no true metropolitan government in Georgia, though the Atlanta Regional Commission, ARC, and Georgia Regional Transportation Authority do provide some services and the ARC must approve all major land development projects in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Elections Until 1964, Georgia's state government had the longest unbroken record of single-party dominance, by the Democratic Party, of any state in the Union. This record was established largely due to the disenfranchisement of most blacks and many poor whites by the state in its constitution and laws in the early 20th century. Some elements, such as requiring payment of poll taxes and passing literacy tests, prevented blacks from registering to vote, their exclusion from the political system lasted into the 1960s and reduced the Republican Party to a non-competitive status in the early 20th century. White Democrats regained power after Reconstruction due in part to the efforts of some using intimidation and violence, but this method came into disrepute. In 1900, 
shortly before Georgia adopted a disfranchising constitutional amendment in 1908, blacks comprised 47% of the state's population. The whites dealt with this problem of potential political power by the 1908 amendment, which in practice disenfranchised blacks and poor whites, nearly half of the state population. It required that any male at least 21 years of age wanting to register to vote must also, a, be of good character and able to pass a test on citizenship, b, be able to read and write provisions of the U.S. and Georgia constitutions, or, c, own at least 40 acres of land or $500 in property. Any Georgian who had fought in any war from the American Revolution through the Spanish-American War was exempted from these additional qualifications. More importantly, any Georgian descended from a veteran of any of these wars also was exempted. Because by 1908 many white Georgia males were grandsons of veterans and slash or owned the required property, the exemption and the property requirement basically allowed only well-to-do whites to vote. The qualifications of good character, citizenship knowledge, and literacy, all determined subjectively by white registrars, and property ownership were used to disqualify most blacks and poor whites, preventing them from registering to vote. The voter rolls dropped dramatically. In the early 20th century, progressives promoted electoral reform and reducing the power of ward bosses to clean up politics. Their additional rules, such as the eight-box law, continued to effectively close out people who were illiterate. White, one-party rule was solidified. For more than 130 years, from 1872 to 2003, Georgians nominated and elected only white Democratic governors, and white Democrats held the majority of seats in the General Assembly. Most of the Democrats elected throughout these years were Southern Democrats, who were fiscally and socially conservative by national standards. This voting pattern continued after the segregationist period. Legal segregation was ended by passage of federal legislation in the 1960s. According to the 1960 census, the proportion of Georgia's population that was African American was 28%. Hundreds of thousands of blacks had left the state in the Great Migration to the North and Midwest. New white residents arrived through migration and immigration. Following support from the National Democratic Party for the Civil Rights Movement and especially civil rights legislation of 1964 and 1965, most African American voters, as well as other minority voters, have largely supported the Democratic Party in Georgia. In the decades since the late 20th century, the conservative white majority voters have increasingly supported Republicans for national and state offices. In 2003, incumbent moderate Democratic Governor Roy Barnes was defeated by Republican Sonny Perdue, a state legislator and former Democrat. While Democrats retained control of the state house, they lost their majority in the Senate when four Democrats switched parties. They lost the House in the 2004 election. Republicans then controlled all three partisan elements of the state government. Even before 2003, the state had become increasingly supportive of Republicans in presidential elections. It has supported a Democrat for president only three times since 1960. In 1976 and 1980, native son Jimmy Carter carried the state. In 1992, the former Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton narrowly won the state. Generally, Republicans are strongest in the predominantly white suburban, especially the Atlanta suburbs, and rural portions of the state. Many of these areas were represented by conservative Democrats in the state legislature well into the 21st century. One of the most conservative of these was U.S. Congressman Larry McDonald former head of the John Birch Society, who died when the Soviet Union shot down KAL-007 near Sakhalin Island. Democratic candidates have tended to win a higher percentage of the vote in the areas where black voters are most numerous, as well as in the cities among liberal urban populations, especially Atlanta and Athens, 
and the rural Black Belt region that passes through the central and southwestern portion of the state. The ascendancy of the Republican Party in Georgia and in the South in general resulted in Georgia U.S. House of Representatives member Newt Gingrich being elected as Speaker of the House following the election of a Republican majority in the House in 1994. Gingrich served as Speaker until 1999 when he resigned in the aftermath of the loss of House seats held by members of the GOP. Gingrich mounted an unsuccessful bid for president in the 2012 election, but withdrew after winning only the South Carolina and Georgia primaries. In recent events, Democrat Jim Martin ran against incumbent Republican Senator Saxby Chambliss. Chambliss failed to acquire the necessary 50 percent of votes, a Libertarian Party candidate receiving the remainder of votes. In the runoff election held on December 2, 2008, Chambliss became the second Georgia Republican to be re-elected to the U.S. Senate. As of the 2010 reapportionment, the state has 14 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives. These are held by 10 Republicans and 4 Democrats. The Georgia House of Representatives has 61 Democrats, 118 Republicans, and one Independent, while the Georgia Senate has 17 Democrats and 39 Republicans. Politics During the 1960s and 1970s, Georgia made significant changes in civil rights and governance. As in many other states, its legislature had not reapportioned congressional districts according to population from 1931 to after the 1960 census. Problems of malapportionment in the state legislature, where rural districts had outsized power in relation to urban districts, such as Atlanta's, were corrected after the U.S. Supreme Court ruling in Westbury v. Sanders, 1964. The court ruled that congressional districts had to be reapportioned to have essentially equal populations. A related case, Reynolds v. Sims, 1964, required state legislatures to end their use of geographical districts or counties in favor of one man, one vote, that is, districts based upon approximately equal populations, to be reviewed and changed as necessary after each census. These changes resulted in residents of Atlanta and other urban areas gaining political power in Georgia in proportion to their populations. From the mid-1960s, the voting electorate increased after African Americans' rights to vote were enforced under civil rights law. Economic growth through this period was dominated by Atlanta and its region. It was a bedrock of the emerging New South. From the late 20th century, Atlanta attracted headquarters and relocated workers of national companies, becoming more diverse, liberal, and cosmopolitan than many areas of the state. In the 21st century, many conservative Democrats, including former U.S. Senator and Governor Zell Miller, decided to support Republicans. The state's socially conservative bent results in wide support for such measures as restrictions on abortion. In 2004, a state constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriages was approved by 76% of voters. However, after the United States Supreme Court issued its ruling in Obergefell v. Hodges, all Georgia counties came into full compliance, recognizing the rights of same-sex couples to marry in the state. Economy Georgia's 2010 total gross state product was $403 billion. Its per capita personal income for 2011 put it 39th in the nation at $35,979. For years Georgia as a state has had the highest credit rating by Standard & Poor's, AAA, and is one of only 15 states with a AAA rating. If Georgia were a stand-alone country, it would be the 28th largest economy in the world. There are 17 Fortune 500 companies and 26 Fortune 1000 companies with headquarters in Georgia, including Home Depot, UPS, Coca-Cola, TSYS, Delta Airlines, Aflac, Southern Company, Anthem Incorporated, Honeywell, and SunTrust Banks. Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta
20,000 miles of federal and state highways that facilitate the efficient movement of more than $620 billion of cargo by truck each year. Georgia's six interstates connect to 80% of the U.S. population within a two-day truck drive. More than $14 billion in funding has been approved for new roadway infrastructure. Military Southern congressmen have attracted major investment by the U.S. military in the state. The several U.S. military installations include Moody Air Force Base, Fort Stewart, Hunter Army Airfield, Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay, Fort Benning, Robbins Air Force Base, Fort Gordon, Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany, Dobbins Air Reserve Base, Coast Guard Air Station Savannah and Coast Guard Station Brunswick. These installations command numerous jobs and business for related contractors. Energy Use and Production Georgia's electricity generation and consumption are among the highest in the United States, with natural gas being the primary electrical generation fuel, followed by coal. The state also has two nuclear power facilities, Plant Hatch and Plant Vogdal, which contribute almost one-fourth of Georgia's electricity generation, and an additional two nuclear power plants are under construction at Plant Vogdal. In 2013, the generation mix was 39% gas, 35% coal, 23% nuclear, 3% hydro and other renewable sources. The leading area of energy consumption is the industrial sector because Georgia is a leader in the energy-intensive wood and paper products industry. Solar-generated energy is becoming more in use with solar energy generators currently installed ranking Georgia 15th in the country in installed solar capacity. In 2013, $189 million was invested in Georgia to install solar for home, business and utility use representing a 795% increase over the previous year. State Taxes Georgia has a progressive income tax structure with six brackets of state income tax rates that range from 1% to 6%. In 2009, Georgians paid 9% of their income in state and local taxes, compared to the U.S. average of 9.8% of income. This ranks Georgia 25th among the states for total state and local tax burden. The state sales tax in Georgia is 4% with additional percentages added through local options, e.g. special purpose local option sales tax or SPLUST, but there is no sales tax on prescription drugs, certain medical devices, or food items for home consumption. The state legislature may allow municipalities to institute local sales taxes and special local taxes, such as the 2% SPLUST tax and the 1% sales tax for MARTA serviced counties. Excise taxes are levied on alcohol, tobacco, and motor fuel. Owners of real property in Georgia pay property tax to their county. All taxes are collected by the Georgia Department of Revenue and then properly distributed according to any agreements that each county has with its cities. Film the Georgia Film, Music, and Digital Entertainment Office promotes filming in the state. Since 1972, 700 film and television projects have been filmed on location in Georgia. In 2008-2009, Georgia's film and television industry created a $1.15 billion economic impact on the state's economy. Tourism In the Atlanta area, World of Coke, Georgia Aquarium, Zoo Atlanta, and Stone Mountain are important tourist attractions. Stone Mountain is Georgia's most popular attraction, receiving over 4 million tourists per year. The Georgia Aquarium, in Atlanta, was the largest aquarium in the world in 2010 according to Guinness World Records. Callaway Gardens, in western Georgia, is a family resort. The area is also popular with golfers. The Savannah Historic District attracts over 11 million tourists each year. The Golden Isles are a string of barrier islands off the Atlantic coast of Georgia near Brunswick that include beaches, golf courses, and the Cumberland Island National Seashore.
Several sites honor the lives and careers of noted American leaders, the Little White House in Warm Springs, which served as the summer residence of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt while he was being treated for polio, President Jimmy Carter's hometown of Plains and the Carter Presidential Center in Atlanta, the Martin Luther King, Jr., National Historic Site in Atlanta, which is the final resting place of Martin Luther King, Jr. and Coretta Scott King, and Atlanta's Ebenezer Baptist Church. Where Dr. King Preached Cultural Fine and Performing Arts Georgia's major fine art museums include the High Museum of Art and the Michael C. Carlos Museum, both in Atlanta, the Georgia Museum of Art on the campus of the University of Georgia in Athens, Telfair Museum of Art and the SCAD Museum of Art in Savannah, and the Morris Museum of Art in Augusta. The State Theatre of Georgia is the Springer Opera House located in Columbus. The Atlanta Opera brings opera to Georgia stages. The Atlanta Symphony Orchestra is the most widely recognized orchestra and largest arts organization in the southeastern United States. There are a number of performing arts venues in the state. Among the largest are the Fox Theater, and the Alliance Theater at the Woodruff Arts Center, both on Peachtree Street in Midtown Atlanta as well as the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center, located in Northwest Atlanta. Literature Authors have grappled with Georgia's complex history. Popular novels related to this include Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind, Olive Ann Burns' Cold Sassy Tree, and Alice Walker's The Color Purple. A number of noted authors, poets, and playwrights have lived in Georgia, such as James Dickey, Flannery O'Connor, Sidney Lanier, Frank Yerby, and Louis Grizzard. Television Well-known television shows set in Atlanta include, from Tyler Perry Studios, House of Pain and Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, the CBS sitcom Designing Women, Matlock, the popular AMC series The Walking Dead, Lifetime Drop Dead Diva, Rectify and numerous HGTV original productions. The Dukes of Hazard, a 1980s TV show, was set in the fictional Hazard County, Georgia. The first five episodes were shot on location in Conyers and Covington, Georgia as well as some locations in Atlanta. Production was then moved to Burbank, California. Also filmed in Georgia is The Vampire Diaries, using Covington as the setting for the fictional Mystic Falls. Music A number of notable musicians in various genres of popular music are from Georgia. Among them are Ray Charles, whose many hits include Georgia On My Mind, now the official state song, and Gladys Knight, known for her Georgia-themed song, Midnight Train to Georgia. Rock groups from Georgia include the Atlanta Rhythm Section, the Black Krause, and the Allman Brothers. The University City of Athens sparked an influential rock music scene in the 1980s and 1990s. Among the groups achieving their initial prominence in that city were REM, Widespread Panic, and the B-52S. Since the 1990s, various hip-hop and R&B musicians have included top-selling artists such as OutKast, Usher, Ludacris, TLC, B.O.B., and Sierra. Atlanta is mentioned in a number of these artists' tracks, such as Usher's A Town Down reference in his 2004 hit Yet, which also features Atlanta artists Lil Jon and Ludacris, Ludacris Welcome to Atlanta, Outcast's album A T Leans, and B. B S multiple references to Decatur, Georgia, as in his hit song Strange Clouds. Film Films set in Georgia include two pictures both set in Atlanta that were awarded the Oscar for Best Picture, Gone with the Wind, 1939, and Driving Miss Daisy, 1989. Other films set in Georgia include Deliverance, 1972, which was based on the novel of the same name by James Dickey, and Parental Guidance, 2012. Sports Sports in Georgia include professional teams in nearly all major sports, Olympic Games contenders and medalists, 
collegiate teams in major and small school conferences and associations, and active amateur teams and individual sports. The state of Georgia has teams in four major professional leagues the Atlanta Braves of Major League Baseball, the Atlanta Falcons of the National Football League, the Atlanta Hawks of the National Basketball Association, and Atlanta United FC of Major League Soccer. The Georgia Bulldogs, Southeastern Conference, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Atlantic Coast Conference, Georgia State Panthers and Georgia Southern Eagles, Sun Belt Conference, are Georgia's NCAA Division IFBS football teams, having won multiple national championships between them. The 1996 Summer Olympics took place in Atlanta. The stadium that was built to host various Olympic events was converted to Turner Field, the home of the Atlanta Braves through the 2016 season. The Masters Golf Tournament, the first of the PGA Tour's four majors, is held annually the second weekend of April at the Augusta National Golf Club. The Atlanta Motor Speedway hosts the Dixie 500 NASCAR Cup Series stock car race and Road Atlanta the Petit Le Mans Endurance Sports Car Race. Atlanta's Georgia Dome hosted Super Bowl XXVIII in 1994 and Super Bowl XXXIV in 2000. The Georgia Dome hosted the NCAA Final Four Men's Basketball National Championship in 2002, 2007, and 2013. It hosted WWE's WrestleMania XXVII in 2011, an event which set an attendance record of 71,617. The Dome was also the venue of the annual Chick-fil-A Bowl postseason college football games. Since 2017, they have been held at the Mercedes Stadium along with the first World Championships. Professional baseball's Ty Cobb was the first player inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. He was from Narrows and was nicknamed the Georgia Peach. Parks and Recreational Activities There are 63 parks in Georgia, 48 of which are state parks and 15 that are historic sites and numerous state wildlife preserves, under the supervision of the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. Other historic sites and parks are supervised by the National Park Service and include the Andersonville National Historic Site in Andersonville, Appalachian National Scenic Trail, Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area near Atlanta, Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park at Fort Oglethorpe. Cumberland Island National Seashore near St. Mary's, Fort Frederica National Monument on St. Simons Island, Fort Pulaski National Monument in Savannah, Jimmy Carter National Historic Site. Near Plains, Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park near Kennesaw, Martin Luther King, Jr., National Historic Site in Atlanta, Okmulgee National Monument at Macon, Trail of Tears National Historic Trail, and the Okefenokee Swamp in Waycross, Georgia. Outdoor recreational activities include hiking along the Appalachian Trail, Civil War Heritage Trails, rock climbing and whitewater kayaking. Other outdoor activities include hunting and fishing. Education Georgia County and City Public School Systems are administered by school boards with members elected at the local level. As of 2013, all but 19 of 181 boards are elected from single-member districts. Residents and activist groups in Fayette County, Georgia sued the Board of Commissioners and School Board for maintaining an election system based on at-large voting which tended to increase the power of the majority and effectively prevented minority participation on elected local boards for nearly 200 years. A change to single-member districts has resulted in the African-American minority being able to elect representatives of its choice. Georgia high schools, grades 9 through 12, are required to administer a standardized, multiple-choice end-of-course test, or EOCT, in each of eight core subjects including algebra, geometry, U.S. history, economics, biology, physical science, ninth-grade literature and composition, and American literature. 
the official purpose of the tests is to assess specific content knowledge and skills. Although a minimum test score is not required for the student to receive credit in the course, completion of the test is mandatory. The EOCT score accounts for 15% of a student's grade in the course. The Georgia Milestone Evaluation is taken by public school students in the state. Georgia has 85 public colleges, universities, and technical colleges in addition to over 45 private institutes of higher learning. Among Georgia's public universities is the flagship research university, the University of Georgia, founded in 1785 as the country's oldest state-chartered university and the birthplace of the American system of public higher education. The University System of Georgia is the presiding body over public education in the state. The system includes 29 institutions of higher learning. The system is governed by the Georgia Board of Regents. Georgia's workforce of more than 6.3 million is constantly refreshed by the growing number of people who move here along with the 90,000 graduates from the universities, colleges, and technical colleges across the state, including the nationally ranked University of Georgia, Georgia Institute of Technology and Emory University. The HOPE Scholarship, funded by the state lottery, is available to all Georgia residents who have graduated from high school or earned a general educational development certificate. The student must maintain a 3.2 or higher grade point average and attend a public college or university in the state. The Georgia Historical Society, an independent educational and research institution, has a research center located in Savannah. The research center's library and archives hold the oldest collection of materials related to Georgia history in the nation. Media The Atlanta metropolitan area is the ninth largest media market in the United States as ranked by Nielsen Media Research. The state's other top markets are Savannah, 95th largest, Augusta, 115th largest, and Columbus, 127th largest. There are 48 television broadcast stations in Georgia including TBS, TNT, TCM, Cartoon Network, CNN, and Headline News, all founded by notable Georgia resident Ted Turner. The Weather Channel also has its headquarters in Atlanta. By far, the largest daily newspaper in Georgia is the Atlanta Journal-Constitution with a daily readership of 195,592 and a Sunday readership of 397,925. Other large dailies include the Augusta Chronicle, the Columbus Ledger Inquirer, the Telegraph, formerly the Macon Telegraph, and the Savannah Morning News. WSBM in Atlanta was the first licensed radio station in the southeastern United States, signing on in 1922. Georgia Public Radio has been in service since 1984 and, with the exception of Atlanta, it broadcasts daily on several FM and 1 AM stations across the state. Georgia Public Radio reaches nearly all of Georgia, with the exception of the Atlanta area which is served by WABE. WSB-TV in Atlanta is the state's oldest television station, having begun operations in 1948. WSB was only the second such operation founded in the southern U.S., trailing only WTVR in Richmond, Virginia. Infrastructure Transportation Transportation in Georgia is overseen by the Georgia Department of Transportation, a part of the executive branch of the state government. Georgia's major interstate highways are I-20, I-75, I-85, and I-95. On March 18, 1998, the Georgia House of Representatives passed a resolution naming the portion of Interstate Highway 75, which runs from the Chattahoochee River northward to the Tennessee state line the Larry McDonald Memorial Highway. Larry McDonald a Democratic member of the House of Representatives, had been on Korean Airlines Flight 007 when it was shot down by the Soviets on September 1, 1983. 
Georgia's primary commercial airport is Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, ATL, and is the world's busiest passenger airport. In addition to Hartsfield-Jackson, there are eight other airports serving major commercial traffic in Georgia. Savannah-Hilton Head International Airport is the second busiest airport in the state as measured by passengers served, and is the only additional international airport. Other commercial airports, ranked in order of passengers served, are located in Augusta, Columbus, Albany, Macon, Brunswick, Valdosta, and Athens. The Georgia Ports Authority manages two deep-water seaports, at Savannah and Brunswick, and two river ports, at Bainbridge and Columbus. The Port of Savannah is a major U.S. seaport on the Atlantic coast. The Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority, MARTA, is the principal rapid transit system in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Formed in 1971 as strictly a bus system, MARTA operates a network of bus routes linked to a rapid transit system consisting of 48 miles, 77 kilometers, of rail track with 38 train stations. MARTA operates almost exclusively in Fulton and DeKalb counties, with bus service to two destinations in Cobb County and the Cumberland Transfer Center next to the Cumberland Mall, and a single rail station in Clayton County at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. MARTA also operates a separate paratransit service for disabled customers. As of 2009, the average total daily ridership for the system, bus and rail, was 482,500 passengers. Health care The state has 151 general hospitals, over 15,000 doctors and almost 6,000 dentists. The state is ranked 41st in the percentage of residents who engage in regular exercise. Cities Atlanta, located in north-central Georgia at the Eastern Continental Divide, has been Georgia's capital city since 1868. It is the most populous city in Georgia, with just over 420,000 residents in 2010. The Atlanta metropolitan area is the cultural and economic center of the southeast, its population in 2010 was 5,268,860, or 53.6% of Georgia's total. Atlanta is the nation's ninth largest metropolitan area. The state has 14 other cities with populations above 50,000, based on 2012 census estimates. In descending order of size they are Columbus, Augusta, Macon, Savannah, Athens, Sandy Springs, Roswell, Albany, Johns Creek, Warner Robins, Alpharetta, Marietta, Valdosta, and Smyrna. Along with the rest of the southeast, Georgia's population continues to grow rapidly, with primary gains concentrated in urban areas. The population of the Atlanta metropolitan area added 1.23 million people, 24%, between 2000 and 2010, and Atlanta rose in rank from the 11th largest metropolitan area in the United States to the 9th largest. Notable People Jimmy Carter, from Plains, Georgia, was President of the United States from 1977 to 1981. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta in 1929. He was a civil rights movement leader fighting for rights for African Americans and received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. State Symbols Amphibian, American Green Tree Frog Bird, Brown Thrasher Crop, Peanut Fish, Largemouth Bass Flower, Cherokee Rose Fruit, Peach Gem, Quartz Insect, honey bee. Mammal, white tailed deer. Marine mammal, right whale. Mineral, storolite. Nicknames Peach State. Empire State of the South. Reptile, gopher tortoise. Song, Georgia on my mind. Tree, live oak. Vegetable, 
Vidalia Onion. Country, Please subscribe and, and thanks is sometimes for watching. regarded as a trendsetter. In socio-cultural mores and national politics, Californians are perceived as more liberal than other Americans, especially those who live in the inland states. Among the political idiosyncrasies and trend setting, California was the second state to recall their state governor, the second state to legalize abortion, and the only state to ban marriage for gay couples twice by voters, including Proposition 8 in 2008. Voters also passed Proposition 71 in 2004 to fund stem cell research, and Proposition 14 in 2010 to completely change the state's primary election process. California has